Welcome students, let us see a very interesting question from the topic permutation. Here question is, in the arrangements of the letters of the word independence, in how many of these arrangements do the words begin with I and end in P? The given word is independence, okay? The given word is independence. The total number of letters is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So here number of letters, number of letters is 12, correct? What is the condition? The arrangement of words should start with I. I is the first letter and end in P and P is the last letter. So this will be counted as a single arrangement because there is no case of any change in this arrangement. So I is fixed at the first place and P is fixed at the last place. So there is no change in this condition. And you see there are some of the letters are alike. As for example, we have how many N? We have 3N here. 1, 2, 3. 3N are here. Okay. And how many E? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 E and 1 p is here sorry p we have kept here and 1 and how many d we have 2 d we have 2 d here and one letter is c total should be 12 1 and 3 4 and 4 8 9 10 11 12 so you see these are the objects of the same uh, nature they are alike so three n's so number of n's is here three similarly number of is number of e is, is four number of d's number of d's is how much how many this is two okay and one i one c one p and nine here uh, four three seven and two nine ten eleven twelve so this kind of arrangement we have to made. So we know a formula uh, which is total number of objects n factorial divided by factorial of the numbers of like objects. Means suppose we are having um, n alike, sorry, p alike objects. So we'll divide by p factorial. Again, we have q alike objects. So that will be divided by q factorial like this, okay? So in this case, uh, here, number of arrangements number of arrangements means words number of words when p i is in first place when i is in first place and p in the last place p in the last place will be how much so let us count the numbers we should not count i and p because there will be no change in the position of these two letters so 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 2 9 and 1 10 so this will be 10 factorial divided by uh, here 3 n's are here so 3 factorial 4 e's are here so this is 4 factorial and 2 d are here so this is 2 factorial i hope you understood it total number of objects in this case when we are not considering i and p in the list because their places have been fixed so remaining are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 factorial and divided by uh, we will divide this 10 factorial by factorial of the numbers of like objects so 3 n are like so 3 factorial 4 e's are alike, so by 4 factorial, 2 d's are alike, so by 2 factorial. Now we will simplify it, we will get the answer. Okay, so this can be written as 4 factorial into 5 to 6 to 7 to 8 into 9 into 10 divided by this 3 factorial is 6, 3 into 2 is 6, this is 4 factorial and 2 into 1 is 2. This 4 factorial will be cancelled out, this 6 will be cancelled out, okay, this 2 will also be cancelled out, 2 4's are 8. So now we have to multiply 5 into 7 into 4 into 9 into 10. After multiplying these numbers, we will get the result. So the, after multiplying here, we will get 
12,600. So uh, this is the answer. Means when I is kept in the first place and P in the last place, means words start with I and ends in P, then total number of words, total number of arrangements of the letters is 12,600. This is the result. This is the answer. Hope you have understood it very well. Question is very simple. So you might have got it properly. Thank you very much for watching this video.